This is a question on uh, differential equation. Let's read the question. Continuous compounding interest can be calculated from, from a differential equation. Differential equation dA by dt is equal to AR represents, represents the rate of increase on an amount A dollars. So A is the amount that is invested at the interest rate of R percent. So R is the rate of interest and T is for number of years. Sam invests 1,250 at a fixed rate of 5.09% and as a decimal, R is 0 0.0509 per annum, per year. He does not withdraw any amount, any money, and the interest compounds continuously. Okay, so see, solve, this, solve the differential equation <coughs> to find the amount Sam will be having in the bank after five years. So let's write the equation dA by dt is equal to AR. So that is given. So here, what they are saying is the rate of uh, the rate of change of A is equal to A times R, where A is the amount that is invested and R is the rate. Okay. So let us separate the A's and the A's together. Or let us isolate or bring the A on one side. So this I can say. If I divide both sides by A, can I write 1 over A dA is equal to R dT. Now, R is a constant, okay, that is uh, in any given situation, R is the rate of interest, which is constant. So, now I'm going to integrate both sides. So, integration of 1 over A dA is equal to R times integration of dT. Now, R is a constant, so I've taken it out. So, uh, integrating both sides, I can say natural log of A is equal to RT plus C, which is a constant of integration. Okay, now natural log has a base of E. So, if you write this as a power form, I can write modulus of A is E to the power RT plus C. So I can say, I can remove the modulus now, A is amount, so it's always positive. So this is e to the power rt times e to the power c. Now e is a constant and c is also constant. So this I'm going to replace as a sub naught. You can write any letter. Uh, so this I'm writing as a sub naught. Okay, now this is different constant so this is equal to this so i can say a which is the amount that you get after a particular amount is a naught times e r t now a naught in this case is the initial amount deposited initial amount or that can also be called the principal deposited or it's the principal so this does make sense so the amount that you get after a particular particular time is a times or is e, is a naught which is the initial amount times e to the power r times t okay so in in this particular case our a naught is 1250 your rate of interest r is point let me see what is your this is your this is your a naught your R is 0 0.0509, 0 0.0509, and your T is 5 years, or 5. Therefore, let me change color. Therefore, I can say A is equal to 1,250 times E to the power 0 0.0509 times T. So I need my calculator. So this is my calculator. So menu run, so 1,250 times E bracket 0 0.0509 times, uh, I should have written five year times five. I'll change that, is 1612.3 dollars, rounding into one decimal place. So uh, where is my eraser? So this should be five. This is phi, and so your amount after five years is one to one, one six one two point three dollars. So 
so it's one six one two point three dollars in one DP hopefully this video has been helpful I want to do one more video on this I will I would like you to read this question and I'll get back to you so the question is you want to find the area of this curve or this shaded portion this is y is equal to 8 of 8x this line is y is equal to p of x or px and this is y is equal to 1 over or y is equal to x to the power negative 2 or this is y is equal to 1 over x squared so you want to find this in terms of p okay